case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1945, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Ashbacker Radio Corp v. Federal Communications Commission, which centered around the rights of competing applicants for broadcasting stations. Both Fetzer Broadcasting Company and petitioner Ashbacker Radio Corp applied for authorization to broadcast on the same frequency, but the commission deemed their applications mutually exclusive due to potential interference issues. In March 1944, Fetzer applied for a new station in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Shortly after, the petitioner also applied for authorization to change the operating frequency of its station in Muskegon, Michigan, effectively creating competition for the same frequency. Without holding a hearing, the commission approved Fetzer's application and designated petitioners for a hearing. Ashbacker Radio Corp. disputed this decision, and the lawsuit centered on whether both parties were entitled to a hearing under the Federal Communications Act. The Supreme Court found that granting one application without a hearing for both parties deprived the losing applicant of their right to a hearing. Additionally, the court held that a rival station experiencing economic injury due to the approval of another station's license had the standing to appeal. Ultimately, the court reversed the commission's decision, stating that the petitioner's right to a hearing was nullified by the grant of Fetzer's application. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.